So we're, we're stopping what we to, what we were talking about, and we're going back to the buses because uh, on the on the uh, Wild Show Facebook page, there is a video. It's all about the poster in Hevetry. Hevetry is now famous. There's lots of views for this video, but it's actually a very common problem. Um, I'd, I'd hoped there would be more more information coming out about it because I know somebody else is looking into it, but I think that'll have to be next week. Um, what I've discovered is that it's a, it's it's a it's a, it appears to be looking at other bus stops. If there's three or four routes, the design looks 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 okay because all the space is full. Uh, but if, as in South Lawn Terrace, near the near the Hevetry Health Centre, there's only one route, what you get is a large white space with all the times of the buses right at the top. So if, if Chris, you're in a, well, you are in a chair. I can't read that. You can't, well, you can't, you, you have to be quite close up I to read. I can't read it anyway. <laughs> well, no. So you you you're a very techy person. You might be the sort of person who's got the app and yeah, look I've everything got up. Yeah, I've the app on my phone. But you can understand if you were only about five foot something, you still might not be able to read it. Yeah. Well, so I, I would have to stand about two inches away from it with my glasses on to read it. <laughs> well, yes, but you you you're a reasonably tall person, J D. So yeah, yes, I am. Yes, yes. But but the the. You can still see the difficulty with a, a design that has mostly blank space and they then small type. They could provide a magnifying glass, quasi. They could do that. <laughs> In a pocket, if you can't read this, use the magnifying glass. <laughs> but no, they could do bigger posters. It's stupid, actually. It really is stupid. We don't have that where I live, you know. Oh, in Exmouth. Everything's big, you know. In Exmouth. Yeah, oh yes. You have big, big notices. Yeah, big notices, and you, you have them in the middle of the road, and you drive over them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we have yeah, big notices. So you're speaking as a driver. Oh, I'm I'm a driver. I've been I've been on the bus only once since I was a little boy. Oh. And that's quite an experience. Gosh, I only think, the once. I think we should take JD on the bus if we. Yeah, to educate him. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah. we're going to show you a bus stop, JD. Later, later a today. Bus stop? No, what? We'll show you a bus stop. I don't know what that is. And is, is that is that a place where buses have to stop? Yeah, well, yes, they have to stop. Oh uh, right, okay. <laughs> they have to stop at all these stops. Really? There, are, there aren't any request stops anymore. No right. So they have to L stop not, anyway. Long ago, the A bus was quite small, and right. you, you could request it to stop. Right. Uh, it grew up, didn't it? But well, made to be. Well, yes, but now it's a, it's a double decker, and yeah. it only stops at the official s spots. It well, has to, has to keep going. Where I am, we have all sorts of buses, mm. small and big, and they come through, and they're quite they're quite good. They're on time, which is good. That's very good. Yes, so we can we can get down to our usual haunt of coffee, coffee, and more coffee <laughs> on the bus with no problem at all. <laughs> well, that is that is pretty good. Yes. Um, well, well, you you guys use it much more than I do, and it's, yeah. it's part of your life. You know, mm. you've got to get on a bus, but you could walk. Yeah, but, well, uh, yes, I could I could walk, but yes. I'm I'm um, I, d I did this video on on behalf of uh, disgruntled of Hevetry, <laughs> someone who doesn't wish to be known on social media. Are you the chairperson? Well, <laughs> I, I don't have an answer for that. I reckon Will's disgruntled of heaven. No, no, it's somebody else. I, I somebody agree with. Else. I right. agree with what they're saying, though. Right. I, I have to say, I think it's a very good point mm. that is being made. Right. And what happens for those people with, as they get older? Their eyesight goes, and they might not be able to read the sign if it's up there. Well, that's true. I mean, so, some people get start getting shorter as well, Chris. Can it can happen? I think they should have a voice in a box. Ah, oh. where, where, where you, if you are 
fairly short person or in the wheelchair mm-hmm. like Chris is, you can push a button and it will speak to you. Now, that would be quite good. So you can put your request in. The so, technology is there. Well, so I, I want to know... Yes. Well, you see, then, if you had a, a voice interface... Yes. The, there's, the, the AI is not, not that complicated because there's only so many questions you'd want to ask. You'd, like, like you'd say... <laughs> where's the coffee? Where's... Where, <laughs> well, you want to, Yes, you probably would say that. Yes. You'd say, mm. um, I'm on this... I'm at this bus stop... There's a news agent across the road who is offering a machine with coffee. Uh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> is it worth catching this bus? Well, it's, it's and, uh, I think <laughs> you're asking for technology to be too good. That's not very complicated, Chris. No, well, you, you could get a, you could get a cup of coffee in the local news agent, but is there a bus coming? Uh, well, is it on time? Where is it more, going? And is there better coffee at the end? <laughs> well, Apart you, from the coffee, I think that's a good mm. suggest. The bus stops the talk is very good. Yeah. They're at, at the bus station. Mm. The bus stands all talk to you. They, right. they talk to you. Yeah. What do if, they say? If you press a button, yeah, it tells you the time. <laughs> And it tells you how long till the the next bus from That's this brilliant. stand is the X thirty eight, and mm. it will be in twenty minutes. That's, well, that's, that's pretty good, in isn't it? All the places in, in you know, if, if, if it's there at the the terminal where the buses come in, why isn't it on the well, external ones? Well, you, yeah, that's a good question. In yes. fact, so, I think I should go and show you the talking thing. <laughs> what are you going to phone? Are you going to set off now and phone us, <laughs> or yes, okay. or we should we should go and have a look later on? Gonna have a look later on. Okay, well we'll do that. Well, that's that wouldn't be too complicated because um, there's only one bus route. It's only the A bus. Yeah. So you just want the voice to say, um, "This is the A bus route, and it's supposed to be here at twenty past eleven, and it will be or something like that." Well, it actually, it actually tells you where the bus is. So if the bus is held up somewhere, yes. you expect it's going to be another no, you know, it five do- minutes. It doesn't tell you that, but it should do. It, it could do. There's, because you, you're running something in a big city, you're not going that far. You're not going outside the city. This is no. just for the city. So you guys who live in the city can f- uh, tune in and find out where the bus is. Well, I'll just say another thing, that the... Um it used to be a bus and coach station before it yes. was demolished. So yeah. it's not it's not a coach station anymore. No, they're from Sidwell Street. Um. Well, they've moved from Sidwell Street. I think it's Banfield Street. Oh, which is opposite the um, the undergrad, which is a we we regular listeners will know that we think in terms of cafes and coffee here. <laughs> we do talk yeah. about other things, <laughs> but um, the undergrad serves coffee. So that's a good spot, but they they don't open twenty four hours. Whereas uh, when it was in Sidwell Street, um, I, I think I've got to mention Subway because that's the name of the place. Yeah, they are open twenty four hours. They are. Oh, the right. shops are available. And we'd mention the the undergrad more often if they were open twenty four hours. Because the question is, if you want to catch a coach to London at 1.15 or Cornwall, or well, if you want to catch a coach to anywhere between about 10 o'clock and 6 or 7 o'clock, mm. um, you want somewhere warm where you can get a coffee. Yes. Well, that's, that's understandable. You know, you're in the city, you should should have that technology which you can get to on the phone so you don't know you can stand out in the cold. So you think it's possible to get that information from National Express, the coach is on time? Yes. And that should arrive you at your phone? At a website and you, you put the number of your coach in Yes. it will tell you exactly where it is, whether it's, it's gone off route and gone to Timbuktu by mistake oh. or it's just coming down the road. It won't tell you that, but I do have. Oh, what? my phone just went to sleep. 
Well, they do that, Chris. You've got I to keep know, up with them. Most annoying. So, what's it telling you? It's telling me there's a H1 bus at ten past ten, and it's due at ten seventeen. Right. So, in, in about ten, there were seven or eight minutes time. Yeah. You, you. Oh no! It's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's telling me there's a hate bus. So. Okay, well that's all good, right. but look, I'd still like if there's for people who haven't got a phone. Right. Oh, and by the way, that reminds me of another thing: the QR codes on the posters and mm -hmm. where there's where there's more than one route, this shows up more than once. Are uh, advertising for drivers. <laughs> so if you're interested in being a driver for Stagecoach, <laughs> and let, let's face it, that is something that I'm sure everybody could agree would be an excellent thing if they had more drivers. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, when stops, you need more information. Well, and bigger it, information. Yes. But, the, but the, JD, you, you're right. So there could be QR cards for... Yes, the, bus times. The, the bus times and yes. s well, such as Chris has looked up yeah. just no, just now, but they don't they don't seem to be there. A so QR code wouldn't be any good for someone who hasn't got a smartphone. No, I, I agree, Chris. Well, so all, 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 I'm, all I'm saying is that they don't. It seems to be recruiting more drivers is is a higher priority yes. than even for the people who have got QR who do know about QR codes and have got a phone of how to get, how them how they can get in contact with the app. That's yeah. not that's not very big on the print version. But I think what JD is saying, there are people who don't have a phone or don't don't like using it and still rely on print but would like it a bit bigger so they can read it. So yeah. you need all information, it's not just one. No, we need every, you know, all, the, need all the different... Every, all the different information so that anybody can read it. Yes. We need, all, we need all the routes. And you need it in bigger print. Bigger yes. Print. OK, there, there you go, Chris. I think it's your job to get pr bigger print at bus stops. There you go. We will um, carry on give a, about this. And you've got a week to do it. Yeah. Okay? Or, or a voice interface. We, yeah, we, we think a voice interface is probably going to going to work for most people. Jade more people. being very optimistic <laughs> today. Well, he is. He is an optimist. Yes. Why not? He yeah. got his shorts on. Well, yes, he's a bit crazy, but people from Exmouth <laughs> live in yes. hope. I'll tell you, it's warmer in Exmouth than it is in if, Exeter. Well, if you're near a beach, you should mm. take advantage of it. Yes. It's so how, do, how do you think I get my bath? Anyway, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's, time, it's time now to play some music. Really? 